So we're here today, our family, just um, going on our winter walk and trying out and testing out this Shaw mic that we've got attached to, attached to my phone. And we're going to see the difference between the S20 Ultra Samsung phone and this Shaw mic that's attached to my phone, my Samsung. So we'll just give it a good try down here. We're in a nice open area now. We'll be able to have a really good test run of it once we walk down a bit further into the more open area here. So yeah, just live from Melbourne, South Brack. <laughs> oh, well, hey, watch out, watch out, go! <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, got the kids here. <laughs> to see how good it is in, in this wind, these windy conditions. Um, so the difference, I'm going to work out and show you the difference between this short mic and picks up better quality sound. So well, th this will be a good test to see from today of how how it goes as opposed to just doing it off the phone which is um, a Samsung S20 Ultra so we'll see how that goes Hi, I'm here today to talk to you about the MV88 Plus video kit and a couple different ways you can set it up to record music. So here's the microphone itself. This is the MV88 Plus microphone. There is a micro B port on the back where your cables get plugged into and there's also a headphone port which is great to dial in your sound before you're recording uh, and also monitor your recording as you're doing some overdubs or anything along those lines. So there's a mic clip in the box. Uh, make sure your Black Sure logo is facing up and the L and the R on the mic are on the correct sides. I'm gonna go ahead and take our uh, phone clamp that comes with it. Just slots right in and then tighten that down. So now I got my mic and my clamp together. Go ahead and take my phone, drop it in right here. Just give it a little squeeze while you tighten down the knob and that gets it all nice and secure. So I got a, my phone and mic clip are all one piece now. I'm gonna take our Manfrotto Pixie tripod that comes in the bottom right into the quarter inch thread. Uh, if you press down this red button, then the ball head can rotate and you can position this however you need. You can even point the microphone towards yourself if that's your workflow. And then we're gonna finish off with our lightning cable. Uh, the kit comes with a USB-C and a lightning cable uh, for iPhones or Androids, respectively. We're using my iPhone today, so uh, we're using lightning cable. So let's dig into the app. That's really where the options for musicians uh, really, really get fun. Across the top, there's a couple of quick touch DSP modes. This is if you want to get up and running really quickly, it gets you in the ballpark of a uh, really great sounding for whatever you're doing. So this one is called loud mode. It's great for your drum set, your uh, loud electric guitar, your live concerts, your band practice, stuff along those lines. Um, this one's called acoustic instrument. It's for acoustic guitar and violin and cello and even piano, any sort of general acoustic instrument it's great for. There's a singing mode, which is obviously great for sung vocals. Um, there's a speech mode, which is more for speech, less for musician, but if you have a, a higher uh, pitched voice or you need a bit, little bit more low end support, the speech mode can actually sound really cool in a musical application as well. Uh, there's a gain knob up here, uh, or slider. This is a very important aspect. You wanna get your levels right. We have a little gray area on the meters here. That's where you want most of your peaks to end up in. It's what we call the sweet spot. Uh, there's a very important control here called monitor mix. This is, uh, say you're working in GarageBand or something where you're doing a, an, an overdub. I just recorded my acoustic guitar and now I want to sing over it. Uh, the monitor mix doesn't control the volume of the headphone, but it controls the content of what you hear. So uh, playback, if you go all the way to one side, will turn off the direct monitoring that you get off of the microphone and only hear what's coming back from your app. If you want the opposite of that, where you only want to hear the direct monitoring off your microphone and not the, what's coming back from the app, you pull the slider over here. It lives right in the middle. Most of the time you want to leave it in the middle, um, but just in case you're working in GarageBand that has some really great software monitoring, that's how you get around that. Uh, coming down to the bottom of the app here, there's a compressor, which has a couple settings. Um, for music, you want to live in the light or medium range, unless you're doing something like drums where that tend to sound really great compressed. So you can go uh, crank that up to heavy. Um, the high pass filter for music, you pretty much want to leave alone at 75. Uh, that gets rid of some low rumble stuff, but uh, doesn't really affect the rest of the sound. 
And then the EQ is a total personal creative choice. So you want a bunch of low end, you can really crank up that bass. So you're doing a uh, acoustic guitar and you want a little bit more bright of an intimate, detailed sound, you can do that. Uh, and what's important to remember here is all of these settings that you configure live in the microphone itself, not our app. So you can dial it up however you need. Our app is a great stereo recorder, but it doesn't do multi-track. So if you want to do, uh, do that type of thing, you're working in GarageBand, you configure the microphone in the app however you need. Uh, you can leave our app, go into GarageBand, and all those settings come with you on the mic and they'll stay that way until you come back and change them. So it's a super configurable way to stay in your workflow, working however you like. So that's a couple different ways you can set up our app to record music. So if you want to get one of these for yourself, check out the link description below and um, we'll have that link for you down there.